Shabbat Shalom, everybody. It's so good to see all of you. We're going to start with an instrumental um, played by Stan Friedman on his clarinet, and he is playing Sabbath Prayer from Fiddler on the Roof. Shabbat. Uh, we look forward to celebrating tomorrow morning as Sophie Hester is, Hester is called to the Torah as a bat mitzvah. It's with great joy that we invite her family uh, to lead us in the Sabbath blessings as we enter this Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kidshanu b'mitzvah tah v'tzivanu, l'hadlik ner shal shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, barei pari hagafen. Amen. L'chaim. L'chaim. Our service continues on page 24 with Shalom Alechem.
we continue on page 31. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch atah Adonai, Hama Ariv, Aravim. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem, Kivod Malchuto, Le'olam Va'ed. And I invite Sophie Hesser now to lead us in the Via Hafta on page 36. We continue on page 39. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to, that, that there is no way to get from here to there, except by joining hands, wait, marching together.
Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up, waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai haporez tukat shalom aleinu be'al kol amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim. Invite Violet Orth to lead us in the tefillah. We'll call Violet to the Torah tomorrow as well, later on in the day after Sophie, page 46. Adonai sefatai tiftach ufia gitehilatecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei avoteinu v'imoteinu, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leha, Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'anorah, El El Yom, Go mel hasadim tovim, ve konei hakol, ve zoher haseavot ve imahot, ume vig ipge ula liv ne venehem, le maan shimo biahava, melech ozer umoshia umagain, baruchata adonai, magain avraham, ve ezrat Atagi Borlan Lamaranai, Mechaye Hakola Tarav Lehoshia, Mashi Faruach, Umarid Hagashem, Mechake Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye Hakol Berachamim Rabim, So Mech no Flim Verofe Holim, Umatir Asurim. Umekayem emunato, lishene afar, 
Micha mocha ba give a rot. Umi do melach, melach me meet, umecha ye, umat me a cheshua. Bene emana talecha yot hakol. Barachata adonai, mecha ye hakol. Ata kadosh vishim ha kadosh. Ugadoshim behoyim yehalu hasela. Barochata Adonai ha el ha kadosh. Yeah, sure. Koach, Violet. We look forward to celebrating with your family as well tomorrow afternoon. A lot of simchas this weekend, uh, and we are grateful for that light uh, that inspires us. This week's Torah portion, Chaye Sarah, uh, is uh, ironically entitled The Life of Sarah, but speaks not at all of her life and only briefly of her death. A few years ago, Margalit Fox, who is the obituary writer for the New York Times, was in, in, interviewed by Terry Gross on Fresh Air and asked about uh, her job as an obituary writer. Uh, she responded that it's not in the least sad or morbid. Uh, it might be a little bit contrary to popular belief, but in point of fact, in a news obituary of uh, 800 or 1,000 words, there might be one or two sentences about the death of a person, but the other 98% of the remarkable narrative is every inch about their life. She could have been speaking about this week's Torah portion, uh, even as Sarah's life is described in one sentence. We don't even learn how Sarah dies. Uh, but we do learn just how deeply Abraham mourns her. Uh, a few years ago, I had the remarkable opportunity to learn from Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs, a remarkable voice uh, in our contemporary Jewish world, uh, who died this past week and whose light and learning continues to inspire. He was the former chief rabbi of Great Britain. Uh, and his insight on this portion speaks to just that. He teaches Abraham, when he learns of Sarah's death, comes to eulogize and cry for her. We learn firsthand of his grief. On the other hand, we wonder how he moves forward quickly to secure her burial plot. Rabbi Sachs pointed out that what Abraham teaches us in this portion is that in order to honor the past, we must also build for the future. When we think of other examples of uh, people who look back in Genesis, we see that they're stuck. Noah, for example, or Lot uh, and his wife, who turn their head to look behind, become mired. Abraham, on the other hand, possesses the courage to look forward, even in the depths of his grief for his beloved Sarah. As much as he honors her memory uh, through eulogizing and weeping for her, he honors her by looking forward, purchasing her burial plot, paying full price, and securing the land for future generations. Abraham helps Isaac move forward as well, building his family and ultimately uh, the Jewish people. So even as we uh, learn about the death of Sarah this week, we learn from Abraham just how Sarah's legacy is bound up in the future of Isaac and uh, her family. The life of Sarah is not over at her death. The Talmud teaches us that the righteous in their death are called living. Sarah is very much alive in this portion. And Abraham teaches us to do what is hardest of all, to look forward with hope in the face of loss and despair.
looking back on the journey that we carry in our heart from the shadow of the mountain to the waters that would part we are blessed and we The door of a door, na git good lecha. The door of a door, we protect this chain from generation to generation. The door of a door, these lips will praise your name. At this dark moment, as numbers rise in this pandemic, uh, we all need a prayer for healing. Uh, we send those uh, those prayers of light and love and healing outward to our community, uh, even as we share the names of dear ones in our own prayers this evening. I invite you to share those names in the chat box as we all raise our voices from home uh, for a healing of body and a healing of spirit. The Shalom. 
this time we remember those uh, whom we have lost in recent days. Sherry Royal, Lawrence Hoffman, Irving Troop, Norman M. Shack, and those whom we've lost in the, this season and years past, as well as those uh, whom we are mourning uh, in the past year. Becky Caston, H. Jack Feibelman, Mary Levick Fox, Hyman H. Galkin, Anna Cohen Haberman, Herman Haberman, Donald Jaffa, Farrell A. Jaffa, Jean Moverman Jaffa, Sloan Miles Jaffa, Alvin Kurzer, Maxwell Mann, Joan Adler Mark, Sheila G. Miller, Eileen Parker, Stanley Smith, Judith Spindell, Lenore Rakitansky, Faye Rozovsky, Florence Tillis, and Norman Toby. And uh, all those uh, whom you're remembering this evening, we invite you to share their names in the chat box. Zichronam Levracha, may their memories be an abiding benediction. As we join together in the words of the mourners, Kaddish found on page 294. Yit Gadal, the Yit Kadash, may Rabbah, be Alma, the Varach, Hirute, be Amlif Malchute, the Chayachon of Yomechon, of Chaye, the Chobet Israel, Bagala, Vizman Kari, Vimru Amen, Yehesh, me Rabbah, me Varach, Leolamula, me Almaya, Yit Barach, Vish Tabach, Vit Paar, Vit Roman, Vit Nase. Vita Dar, Vita Levi, Talal, Shemay, Dukuda Shabrihu, Leila Minkol, Birchata Vashirata, Tushbechata Venechemata, Da Amiran Bialmavim Ru, Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya, Venchaim Alinu Veil, Kul Yisrael Vim Ru, Amen. O Seshalom Bim Ramav, Huya, Seshalom Alinu Veil, Kul Yisrael Vim Ru, Amen. May the one who creates harmony on high comfort the bereaved among us, and we say, Amen. Oh, with Am Yisrael by Rabbi Noam Katz. Uh, many of you know it, uh, so feel free to sing along in your homes. Israel, hi, Amen, 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 Israel, hi. 
I appreciate the use of the uh, clapping emoji from some of you. <laughs> Indeed. I love it. Uh, and I know the Hessers have a beautiful homemade challah. Uh, and uh, I just want to say thank you uh, to the Hessers and to the Orths, uh, where is Violet there, for sharing your light and your voices with us tonight in our worship. You are uh, the light uh, in the middle of the tunnel here that really uh, keeps all of us going in this dark time. So thank you for sharing that with us on this Shabbat. Um, and I am going to invite, let's see that beautiful challah, Hessers. Um, oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Go ahead and lead us in the moti. Baruch Adonai, Elohim Elohim Amen. The Teavon. Teavon and Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Unmute and say hi. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom.